Well, yeah, as you know, we are called father for a reason. And I always like to say that a priest is not like a father. He is a father. And when you think of the qualities of fatherhood, when you think of providing, guiding, raising children in virtue, even correcting at times, but mostly, you know, for the purpose of helping the children to become the finest version of themselves that they can be, that's what a priest does on the spiritual level. He guides, he, he leads, he sometimes corrects, but his purpose is to help his flock to become the finest followers of Christ that they can be. So that's why I say we really are not like a father, but we really are fathers in, in that regard, yeah. You know, I had a wedding uh, last year in, in June of the son of friends of mine, and this was one of the toasts, and it really struck me because it reminds me of what you're supposed to do, Bill, and what I'm supposed to do in my own way. The young man just raised his glass and said, may you be saints raising saints. And so, in a sense, that's what a natural father is supposed to do with his own natural family, and that's what a priest is supposed to do. He's supposed to be a saintly man, a godly man, and he's supposed to be raising saints in his flock. That's the ideal. <laughs> Thank God God takes us where we are. <laughs> Brings us where we need to be, but takes us where we are. <laughs>